All right, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Jeff Wickersham. Let's dive right in. Topic for today, top five ways to build mental toughness. So, so important for us as dads, as leaders, as the tip of the spear for our families. Also, so, so important when we learn these things to share it with our kids, to share it with our children, because I will tell you, I did not know these things growing up. I did not have these strategies, tactics, and tools, and I had good parents, but it wasn't widely known, these things that can build mental toughness, build grit, build resiliency. We need to learn at the highest level when you listen to this podcast and the show, meaning you've got to take it in, you've got to put it into action, and then you've got to share it and teach it with your kids and your family. When you learn at that highest level where you're going to teach it to somebody else, you absorb it so much better. So top five ways to build mental toughness. Number one, in the morning, I want you to stack wins right when you wake up. Can be simple, small, and easy, but stack things, stack wins right when you wake up. That means no distractions. That means no cell phone no news, no social media, no text messages, no email, nothing that can start you down that negative path when you wake up. I want you to stack wins. Could be three wins, could be five, could be seven, like I teach in the Warrior Dad experience. But you stack those wins without any outside influences. It's like jet fuel in your veins. You feel progress. You feel momentum. You build this mental toughness, this mental resolve that you can take on whatever the day throws at you. And I want you to do it over and over and over again. So many times I see people, hey, they go to a weekend seminar. They find these things they're going to do. They do it one day, two days tops, and then they go back to their old habits, their old routines. Strategy number one, stack wins right when you wake up in the morning, no distractions, do them real quick. You're going to feel this progress, this momentum, this energy. So, so vitally important. That is tip number one. Tip number two, be consistent with your word. What does this mean? This means when you say something, you actually do it, whether it's with somebody in your family, whether it's with somebody at work, whether it's with a friend, when you make a commitment, you follow through on that commitment. You do what you say you are going to do. In addition, if you make commitments to yourself, you need to keep those as well. When you make commitments, when you keep those commitments, you spiral up right? All of a sudden, your subconscious mind that is listening and watching to everything you do, it starts to believe what you say out loud. When it starts to believe the subconscious mind, that NASA supercomputer starts to help you in the process, starts to help you build mental toughness, mental resolve. On the flip side, how 95, 98, 99% of people operate. They say something, they make a commitment, and then they don't follow through. Whether it's to friends, family, loved ones, colleagues, whether it's to themselves, they say something, they don't follow through, and the subconscious mind, like I said before, is always listening. So what happens when you say something The mind listens, then you don't do it. You spiral down that pattern and that lack of follow through impacts everything else you do. Because next time you say something, the mind is not going to help you get there. Has a BS meter. If you are consistently saying you're going to do something, then you don't do it. The mind's going to fight you because it's not going to believe that you're committed to doing it. That's why so many people stay stuck because the mind is fighting 
them every step of the way. Mine makes it more difficult where if you're consistent, you make you keep that commitment with your word time and time again. What does the mind say? The mind says, okay, Jeff means business. Let's figure out a way to get this done. Let's not fight them in the process. Not, let's not say, hey, take it easy. So, so important. You've got to keep the commitments that you make to others and to yourself. Think about spiraling up or spiraling down. So that's number number two. Number three, I'm a huge fan of this. This can be incorporated into number one related to stacking wins. And each of the next three can be, but you've got to push yourself physically. So many times we only think about exercise, hitting the gym, hit class, spin class, yoga, Pilates, whatever it is, as getting physically better. There are so many mental benefits and there's mental toughness that is born out of pushing yourself physically. Back in July, I threw down my own challenge. I called it the Wickersham Challenge. It was 26 rounds of a 1.01 mile run, 50 pull-ups, 75 sit-ups, 100 push-ups. You do it until you're done. Totals for that challenge was 26 Point two miles, 1,300 pull-ups, 1,950 sit-ups, and 2,600 push-ups. It was a heck of a lot. And I was in the worst pain I was physically ever. Literally, when I was doing the last six rounds of pull-ups, I felt like almost the muscle fibers in my lat muscles tearing. I pushed myself physically. It unlocked that next level of mental toughness for me. I've been able to run farther than I ever have before in my life since that time. And I'm not a huge runner and I don't train to run. But what it unlocked is that mental toughness, that mental fortitude to push through difficult things. Pushing yourself physically unlocks that mental toughness, that mental strength. So that is number three. Push yourself physically. Find ways to get out of your comfort zone. In addition to mental toughness, it's a little bit of a drug for your mood and your happiness, right? So, so important, right? It's a natural thing that we can do to boost our mood, boost our happiness, boost our our focus. So pushing yourself physically to unlocking the mental toughness side of things. Number four, and this has been a game changer for me, meditation, spending some time quiet, part of the house, maybe outside in nature somewhere, and just breathing. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Can be as simple as three breaths. Six count in, two second hold, seven seconds out. 45 seconds of meditation. Do that daily over and over again. It's amazing the impacts that can have on your mental toughness. Today was 2,093 straight days for me That's five plus years. I'm almost to six years of meditating at least 10 minutes a day. By doing that, it has given me a piece of calm, some mental toughness to deal with things that happen in my life. Difficult times arise. I'm much more grounded in my reaction. I used to be so much more of a hothead. I used to fly off the handle. Sports related, work related, sometimes with my wife and kids, not proud dad and husband moments. I will tell you, meditation has changed that. Somebody used to cut me off in traffic. I would curse and be ticked off. Don't do that anymore. It must be in a hurry. Okay. That meditation has given me that mental toughness, that mental strength to pause for a second and choose the response to that stimulus that happens. And don't think it's so woo-woo-ish. Science is now proven out. After a couple months of meditating, the changes in your brain can actually be shown on an MRI. Pretty, pretty incredible how we can impact, change our brain through the power of meditation. So that's number four, meditation. Last one, number five, cold shower or some cold exposure. I love a cold shower, been doing it 
I think I'm up to 1,750 straight days of cold shower, ice bath, or a cold walk when it's below 32 degrees outside. Why does that provide mental toughness? Well, I love to go through that process and I look forward to it on a daily basis because it allows me to not negotiate with my mind. How many times has your mind just whispered in your ears? Hey, don't do it. It's okay. Go sit on the couch. Almost all the time, our mind's always looking for the easy way out, right? It has limited capacity on a daily basis, limited energy. So it's always looking for the easy way out. It wants to keep us safe, certain. Great way to flex that mindset muscle, to hit that mindset gym. Step into a cold shower. It's fall where I'm at outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, starting to get cold out. I can definitely already tell the change in temperature in the water in the shower. But when I get in, I turn it to cold. That's a great mindset rep right then. Why? Because a lot of times my mind says it doesn't want to do it. And I say, we aren't negotiating. This is what I'm doing. You are taking control of what you're doing and not letting your mind stop you. Imagine the mental toughness to do that in a cold shower, but then apply it to other areas of your life. Imagine next time you have fear kick in and you're able to say, you know what? Nope, we're moving forward anyway. That's where growth happens. That's where that mental toughness, that mental resolve, that mental strength can have such a profound impact on what you do. So those were the top five strategies to build mental toughness, right? Stack wins. Number one, stack wins. First thing when you wake up. Number two, when you commit to something, follow through on that commitment. Number three, push yourself physically. Number four, meditation. Take some time breathing. And number five, get into a cold shower, ice bath, some type of cold to flex that mindset muscle. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Please leave a comment or share it up with another dad in your network, right? These things that we learn in this podcast, I have done myself for years. I will also share with you, these are things that my sons do now at 13 and 14 years old. I'm a practitioner. I do it and I share it with them. They start doing it and they get more momentum, more progress. They build that mental toughness muscle and that's equipping them. And those are planting seeds for future growth in my sons. We need to do that in our kids as dads, as the leaders, as the tip of the spears. I appreciate listening. Be sure to share it up with someone in your network. Dare to be uncommon. Love, lead, legacy. Create a legendary day. And I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.